Broken and damaged wires account for lengthy downtime and costly repairs in today's electronics industry. TE recognized the need for a permanent one-piece repair, something environmentally sealed that would be easy to apply and inspect. Our solution? The cross-linked gel-filled cold applied splice. This tooling is similar to TE's AD1377 Mini Seal Crimp Tool with added benefits. We modified the tool die to allow crimping through the hard outer plastic shell. The new tool also has a locator to align the crimp and a wire strip length to ensure proper insertion. Now for the actual installation, which should take about three to five minutes. First, identify the damaged or broken wire. Select a proper cold applied splice for the gauge size. Clean the wire with isopropyl alcohol to ensure a good bond to the gel. Then cut the damaged area. Next, strip the wire to the length specified in M81824-12. Make sure you leave enough room to terminate both ends of the wire. Then, repeat the process on the other end. You are now ready to splice. Take one of the stripped wires. Use the engraved crimping tool to ensure proper length. Next, take the cold applied splice in one hand and the end of the stripped wire in the other. Insert the wire into the splice through the gel, being careful to center the wire. It will bottom out so the stripped wire end can be seen through the window. Now it's time to terminate one end of the splice. Take the AD1381 tool in one hand and the splice with inserted wire in the other. Place the splice into the tool, butting it up against the locator. Make sure the tool crimp is located over the first end of the crimp barrel. Before crimping, close the tool jaws only to the point that the tool holds the crimp splice. Gently push the wire to ensure it's fully inserted. Then crimp the splice. The tool has a full ratchet design that must be fully engaged to release. Check to see that the splice is crimped and can be seen through the window. Then repeat the same process on the other side. Both the crimps and the windows should be on the same plane. You have now successfully installed the cold applied splice.